If we want to know what interval g of x is greater than or equal to f of x, the first thing we have to do is figure out when the two functions equal each other. Right? They equal each other right here when x is negative 1. So then we just have to think about what does it mean for g of x to be greater than f of x. It means that it has a larger y value. Well, the larger y values are higher up on our coordinate plane. So we should be able to see that all of this area over here is where g of x, the function in red, has a larger y value than f of x, the function in blue. So our interval on which g of x is greater than or equal to f of x starts, well, these are both going towards negative infinity over here. So that interval starts at negative infinity, and it ends when we hit x equals negative 1. Because it's an or equal to, right, we can include the point at x equals negative 1 with a bracket. We can also write this using inequality notation and say that this is true when x is less than or equal to negative 1, because those are the x values that are less than negative 1, right? negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. For this one, we want g of x to be less than or equal to f of x. So again, we have to find the intersection point. The intersection point is x equals 2. And then we look at where is the blue function, that's g of x, less than or lower than the red function, f of x. Well, that is to the right of 2, right? where the blue one is below the red one. So our interval should just be from 2 to infinity. The 2 is going to have a bracket on it because this is an or equal to. And we could just say x is greater than or equal to 2 because those are the values of x that are greater than or equal to 2, the ones to the right of 2. This time we want f of x to be greater than g of x, so we'll find again that point of intersection at x equals negative 1, and f of x is greater than g of x, in other words the blue function f of x is above g of x, the red function, to the left. Right? We can see that the blue one is above the red one, to the left of negative 1. So these both point forever to the left, so that will be negative infinity until we get to negative 1. And at negative 1, because this time it's just a greater than sign, not a greater than or equal to sign, we'll put it with a parenthesis. Or we could say these are all the values when x is less than negative 1. And we'll do one more. Here we want f of x to be less than g of x. We find the intersection point at x equals 0, and the blue function, f of x, is lower than the red function, g of x, to the right. right? This is our blue one. It's below the red one, to the right of 0. So our interval will be 0 with a parenthesis to infinity. The 0 has the parenthesis because it's just a less than, not a less than or equal to sign. And numbers from 0 to infinity are the numbers that are greater than 0. So we could write this as x is greater than 0 also.